Hi again, um, this is going to be an angst suicidal death loop one shot, so if you're not very comfortable with suicide, self-harm, uh, suicidal ideation, if that triggers you, or makes you have, like, bad thoughts in any way, please click off this video. This has no intention of hurting people or anything like that. I myself I find this stuff actually very comforting when I feel like this. But if this is like triggering to any any of you, please, please click off. I I really don't want any of you to to get hurt to do something to yourself. I really care about you, so and the fan fiction is called is uh, titled Drowning Suicidal Deku job by official Kirishima on Wattpad. It, it's pretty short, but I actually really, really like it. So let's get on to the reading again. If anything triggers you, just click off, please. It's not worth it. Deku's bow. I can't bring myself to, su to summon a smile as I walk up to UA. I can't. I'm just too tired. I'm just too tired of faking it, it all the time. I wave at Uruka and Ida as I walk up to them, but they don't seem to notice their deep conversation. I get up to, the, to them and look at my feet, clutching my backpack straps. Hey guys, can I uh, talk, talk to you guys about something? Uraka barely glances at me. Not now, Deku. We have real problems to deal with. Okay, that that's okay. No, no worries. I flash them a smile as I hurt, hurt, as I head off to class, drop, dropping it, dropping it as soon as I turn. They didn't even care. You're just annoying to them. The day goes by in a blur. I barely eat anything at lunch. It's like my stomach has shrunk. I trekked home. Hope. Hoping today will be the day, hoping she'll come back. I slowly open my door, my heart sinking when my mom is still isn't home. It's your fault. You drove her away. I open the fridge and shake my head, seeing it empty again. Not like your fat ass needs it. I sit out on the windowsill, watching the dry driveway well, willing her car her to come come up. A, a few tears leak out my eyes and the sun goes down with no sign of her. I guess she doesn't care. No one does. If anyone really truly cared, they would notice. My only relief, my escape, is when I sleep, but I barely sleep. Her thoughts and tears keeping me awake. If only I could sleep forever and never wake up. No one would care anyway. I slowly get up and head to the kitchen. I grab a knife off the counter. Third person POV. Rurako really watched, watched the door to, of the classroom awaiting her friend. She needed to apologize to Deku. She didn't mean to snap at him yesterday. She just want, she went to her desk as Aizawa came in. Aizawa wa walked up to the front of the classroom, sadness obviously visible in his face. He cleared his throat, and the class quieted down, staring at their teacher. He sighed, tears swelling up in his eyes. I have some bad news. Last night, a fellow student decided to take his own life. But we will never forget Mikaelia's smile. Okay, so that was it. Um, again, if this triggered any of you I, uh, I have other social medias and like you could go on them and like DM me please please just anything I want you all to be happy and healthy please don't do anything that this fanfic uh, wrote about please suicide isn't the answer I know me myself have almost have almost tried it and have almost gone through with it and it it I, I still struggle with those type of things but 
I still get through the day. I still try to drink water. I still try to at least talk to somebody. I mean, I have comfort things, I guess. Just if, if anyone needs to talk or anything like that, please just DM me or like go to somebody who you trust. I would suggest if things really get bad and you're thinking of harming yourself or others, uh, go to a therapist. If you have a counselor, maybe go there. Of course, if like they're one of the shitty counselors, don't. But even if if you don't trust your parents, or you have, then you could like talk to friends or teachers, anybody in your life who who you think is important and would actually like listen and care about those types of things. Please talk to them. I may, I'm begging you. Just stay safe, drink water, have something to eat today, and I hope you guys had a wonderful day, or are having one, if you, and if you aren't, I'm going to give you a virtual hug, just for good luck. See ya!